Imagine everything it takes to make a city function. The power, the zoning, the flow of traffic. Now reimagine it, and this time, add water. So you can say I've done this before. I've been to 10 dry docks, 30 countries, and sailed on just about every ship in the Carnival fleet. I want to know how all this got here. So I took off for Italy to find out. And on this go around, everything's different. Wow! This is behind the scenes Carnival Vista. Up until this point, you've seen what will soon be the public spaces. But now we're gonna take the behind the scenes series even further and show you things you'll never get to see on vacation. The inner workings of a fun ship are astonishing. I mean, they're powering a floating city here. Electrical, plumbing, medical, safety, and service industry elements are all pulsating in sync through this 828,000 square foot maritime city grid. And rumor has it, this ship is taking a brand new approach to how it runs. Which brings me to my first stop, Carnival Vista's captain. So you have the ship with all the new toys? Ah, uh, yes, absolutely, yes. It's it quite a joy to see all new things. Uh, we noticed this yesterday when we were behind the ship. There's, they called it a, a ducktail. This is a totally different animal from any of the other ships. Basically, uh, the, the shape of the stern is different from the other ships, and it's designed to make a ship optimize the whole. So here's something I found interesting. When the ship is in service, every bit of energy produced is used, and they'll accomplish this with equipment that has double functionality. For example, the steam turbine is on board to recover the excess steam, and with that steam turbine, we produce power, which can be used for the theater, for the HIMAX, and for anything of the fun equipment that we have installed on the Carnival Vista. Here's something you may not have thought of. If the ship is completely self-sufficient, where's all the fresh water come from? Initially, fresh water is transported onto the ship at dock, but once sailing, the seawater goes through an onboard desalination plant and it treats gallons of water needed for everything from showers to waterworks. So if you're keeping count, tucked away on board, this ship's got an entire power plant, water treatment plant, air quality control system, pump room, engine room, control room, medical facilities, television studio, whew, and more. All working in tandem to provide guests a seamless voyage. We're nearing the end of the build, so stay tuned, because next time, I'm gonna test drive the all new Skyride. You won't wanna miss it. For more information on your Carnival Vista, visit carnival.com.